today we're going to be pulling the fridge out of our camper and replacing it. It's a Dometic. I should probably tell you that I'm not a licensed mechanic and I've never done this before. So the first thing I'm going to do is disconnect the all three sources of power. You have your 12 volt power, um, your 110 power, and your propane. So uh, let's go ahead and disconnect the batteries first. First thing I'm going to do is disconnect the uh, negative terminal from the battery so it's completely disconnected from the chassis. I'm going to make sure I put that somewhere it doesn't touch and ground out anywhere. Um, that's the last thing you want. So my second point of power is behind my little grate here. This little guy just pops right off. I'm going to come look in here. This right here is my 110 power and I'm just going to unplug it. Simple as that for that one. Now all we got to do is our propane. Our propane is going to be right here and all I have to do is unscrew this. That's going to be a 13 16 wrench. There we go. You know what they say, get a bigger hammer. your propane connection. So now that I've disconnected all three power sources, um, there's a screw on the bottom corner of each side. I'm gonna come in here and look real quick. I've got a screw right here, got a screw right here, and then I got a screw on this side as well. This guy's a good way back in there, so uh, you might need an extension. Get down in there. not mistaken this is your 12 volt power input positive and negative it's on 28% oh yeah that one fits you don't have to screw these all the way out just loose enough to get that wire to come out should be it. We disconnected our 12 volt of the batteries, we've disconnected our 12 volt of the fridge, we've disconnected our 110, and we've disconnected our propane, which took a 13, a 13 16 wrench, um, and some pounding. So, there should be, I think, four more screws on the inside. We just, we unscrewed the two screws on the bottom brackets here. There should be four more screws on the inside that attach the fridge um, inside the camper. So let's go undo those real quick. All right, so our lights are out. Um, this is our this is for our panel that goes across the top here. There's a little plug that gets unplugged in the back. That little panel will just pop right off the top and pull out. Um, no screws needed. Um, I've got a screw. It's gonna be kind of hard to see because we don't have any power right now because the batteries are disconnected. I've got a screw there. I've got a screw there. And then I've got a screw in the bottom right here and right over here as well. So uh, let's get those out. One. Two. Okay, looks like I'm gonna have to take the door off after all. Um, 
this bottom bracket on this door is actually blocking the screw that's holding the fridge in. So I'm gonna go ahead and take my um, interesting piece of information. These panels on the front of the fridge. When you order a new fridge, if you say you don't want the panels, you'll use your old panels. Um, it'll save you, I think it was like 150 bucks. We're gonna take these panels off and reuse them on our new fridge. And I might not be able to do that either without taking the door off. All right, so to get this, uh, I might have to take the doors off. You gotta take the freezer off first and then the refrigerator door. There's a little screw you gotta undo here on this little clip. There it went. And uh, once you do that and you've undone these bolts, you'll be able to tilt this up just enough for the door to pop out. And then uh, bottom door after that and repeat the process. And this is the peg for the bottom door. I can feel it given. So I'm gonna bang. Uh, you're going to want to keep these screws that we're mounting it down because you're going to end up using them again. Unless you just want to put new ones in there. A big hole. This is my. This is my solar coming. This is my solar coming down. And my uh, solar charge controller power going to it. All coming from my roof vent. Thankfully, we have a bigger door. main reason I wanted to do this at Camping World is I want to compare the two sizes and see if they match up. So let's get this thing taken apart see how they line up. Okay, so both of these are pretty identical. Um, Camping World is going to charge me $15 and I'll give them my old fridge. And uh, so I'm gonna go wheel it over to one of their lots and drop it off, button the camper back up, put this new guy in the toy hauler. Battery died on the GoPro yesterday and Camping World was closing, so we had to get out of there. Um, so I didn't even bother to put a new battery in the GoPro. I just shut it all up. I got the new fridge in the toy hauler and uh, we hit the road. So we've made it to our BLM spot. It's a beautiful spot in uh, Superstition Mountains. And I'm gonna get this fridge installed. I brought it through my toy hauler um, just so those of you that are going to install a Dometic fridge in my camper we have a 2011 Keystone Outback 230RS even with the doors off um, 
of the fridge, even with the doors off of the fridge, we still couldn't get it through our front door. I would have had to have taken the camper door off in order to get the fridge in. Thankfully, we have a toy hauler, um, and our toy hauler comes up to the front of the camper, which is really cool. So um, I can just bring the fridge right in, and it's still a really tight fit right here, if you can see. There's not much room in between there. So, I would advise you get a rug or some cardboard, like I did, to scoot it on when you're getting through so you don't scratch the floors. Also, one really bad thing that did happen, um, when I was pulling the fridge out, I realized I broke the trim on the bottom. So um, I'll have to put that back on there and uh, nail it back with some finishing nails or something like that and figure out how to fix it. Let's see if we can wiggle this thing into its hole, get it screwed down. There are four screws in the front, two screws in the back, then you got to hook up your propane, got to hook up your 12 volt, and uh, got to plug it into the 110 outlet in the back. So, let's get at it. Okay, so what we're going to attempt to do is lean this back, pick it up from the bottom, and then slide it in. We'll, we're going to attempt to do <laughs> We'll see how it goes. Mm -hmm. How many humans does it take to put a fridge in? Bottom. Sorry, someone's a little starved for attention. <laughs> oh my god, we're recording. I'm trying to make sure our fridge gets put in, okay? Let me go check what that noise is. Mind you, we have a beautiful BLM. This, right here, is the Superstition Mountains. Gorgeous. Okay, that's what that noise is. It's just kind of peeling some of this wood up here. Um, it's nothing too serious. This one does? Yes. Thank you, freaking Jesus. They put lips on them. <laughs> Tell us what happened. They put lips on our shelves so stuff doesn't slide out. You mean we've had stuff slide out of our fridge before? Way too many times. <laughs> This might work. Yeah, I guess it will. I don't see why it would be a hindrance. So our old fridge opened from right to left. This new fridge opens from left to right. But what we're told, what I was told, is that you can actually just take and flip the door and then install the handle, slide the handle up. Um, that's how these new fridges are made. We'll see if we need to or not when we put the panels on. So I just remembered I want to install my uh, Renogy Bluetooth adapter up here. So I gotta pull the fridge back out, tuck my wires, and then do it again. better if you push from the bottom. We have a fridge! We have a fridge! Can you tell I'm excited? Good enough for me. So, Show you how this thing works. This is just, just too cool. Watch this. My app, energy. Kind of 
connecting, boom, 12.9 volts, 85 percent. I'm bringing in 1.93 amps right now, and it's five o'clock in the afternoon. I really like inter uh, I really like Renogy. I'm probably going to end up getting a whole entire solar install and inverter charger from Renogy, um, just because I like them. Okay, so now that we got the fridge in, let's screw it down, and then go to the back, screw it down, and then we're going to attach everything. And then we'll get all of our power and propane attached. So, step one, screws. Make sure to take your tape off of here. This is your vent tube. All the condensation that is caused, that is created from the fridge, will come out here. I'm gonna go ahead and I just plugged in the 110 right here back into its outlet. I'm gonna reattach the uh, propane. Take your cap off. That looks like it's gonna line up perfect. One of the beauties of living full time off grid is that you get to do things like this. Like, we're in the middle of the wilderness. Like this? Like that. Look at this beautiful sunset. Ignore our neighbors. Ignore our neighbors. <laughs> like, you know, and when you have a home, you got to work on it too, but I don't know. It just, it feels different when it's your RV and you're fixing your RV. I don't know. It just, it's a different feeling. Our RV allows us to go places that you couldn't with the house. Yeah. Yeah. Our, our RV allows us to have freedom. What is it that Wazimu said? How fast is your house? I got a, I got a slow truck, but how fast is your house? Yeah. I give props on that quote to uh, Wazimu life. Courtney and Trevor. Courtney and Trevor. Our friends of whom we met and hung out with several times. Okay, that's on there good time. Okay, so on a lot of these campers, the, uh, where are we going here? On a lot of these campers, instead of having a red and a black for hot and ground, they'll have a, like a white and a black and all kinds of different colors um, but generally speaking you can be pretty safe to say red is always hot and your other color is ground um, on this camper in the front it even says that white is ground so um, we have a little sticker on the front of our camper so it's easy to tell for us just in case you have any questions on that um, I had to unscrew this off the top of our plate here because I couldn't get my screwdriver in there so I'm going to get him in and then tighten him down. Okay, okay round. Thank you. 
2019. Yeah. Okay. Propane, 110. 12 volt. All connected. This is the moment of truth. Dun dun. As the sun is setting. Okay, let's go back inside the camper and see if it's gonna work. And oh, we got power. <gasps> we are on, baby. Oh my gosh. Yeah, yeah. I wonder if I should hook up to uh, 110 first, run the generator. What time is it? Six o'clock? Mm -hmm. Give it some 110 power. I'm gonna turn the generator on, give it some 110 for a little while. Our Dometic fridge install is complete. All I gotta do is put the panels on the front. Thank you guys for watching. I hope this video was helpful to you. Um, there's a lot of different type of Dometic fridges out there, so make sure you get the right type. Uh, make sure you have your measurements and your dimensions are all measured out so you know you're getting the right kind. Um, but other than that, stay tuned for more Mountaintop Adventures. We'll catch you guys later. God bless. Happy travels. Mountaintop.